right, we're gonna move on to dating. Okay? Um, I know, I know, see? Here's an interesting dilemma. A woman wrote to Dear Prudence saying that she's attracted to blue collar guys, but when they find out about her career or master's degree, that's when things get weird. And it's like she, sorry, it's like they think that she's too good for them. That's what she's saying anyway. What advice, what advice are we giving her? I mean, I don't know about you, but I, do you guys feel like maybe this woman is a bit of a humble bragger? Like she sits yeah. down oh. and she's sitting there and is giving her like, so I did my master's degree and there's my CV and here's what I and did. And I'm telling them, oh, don't oh, be intimidated. Don't worry. Yeah. yeah. And then I mean, maybe she's part of the problem. I, having said that, like I, I haven't dated, I never <laughs> dated a blue collar worker. Like I never met anybody out in the dating scene. Maybe it was the age I was dating at. I never met a plumber or you know a, a construction person. I was always attracted to the artist. But those don't have to be mutually exclusive. No. Like I know somebody who's out on the dating scene right now, and she also had never dated somebody who was blue collar, and she met somebody. And I think initially it, there were some maybe linguistic things that were different. There were some turns of phrase that she was like, "Oh, that's an interesting." Like, I don't hear these kinds of ways of speaking. The vernacular's but quite different. The vernacular's sure. different. But she actually found enough things that turned her on. Enough, like there were enough elements that were Part of it might have been physical. Part of it was attractive. But like, yeah. I think you find your points of connection. I think this is very much part of my fantasy life. Okay. Like in my, right. in my fantasy, and it's always like just a very like a towering man who like could pick me up and just like, oh, <laughs> tiny, I'm so little. And I get into his truck, and it's definitely like a bench seat, and yeah. the gear shift is up here, <laughs> and the truck is like red and like rusting a little bit. And then I'm like, oh my God, he's so mysterious. He's just so strong. And then I open up his glove compartment and there's like maybe a collection of Henry James short stories. And I'm like, oh my God, oh, you're I so misunderstood. I just realized I just, she had me and it's all this that, is, that, And no. this is in movies. You see it both ways. Think about Magic Mike. That guy was an artist. You're right. He you're was right. an artist. But he side his side he was hustle with construction yeah. and goodwill hunting. He was a janitor. But don't you know, also so wait a minute. You know what you just That's done? What I want. Stop it, no. I well, no. working girl I feel like reverse. you've imposed your literature values on oh, this amazing guy. Oh, okay, can oh, be like, a why is he pulling out I'm Henry James? We are married to a blue collar guy. Can I yeah. say something? Go for it. Go for it. You ladies out there are missing out on something very, very Clearly. fun. I, I know. Your fantasy is the is my luck that I get to live oh. that life every single day. Minus those books. Well, I was like, Minus those books. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. However, the idea, there's so many tropes and stereotypes about the blue collar worker. Ryan is the smartest, most empathetic, in touch with his emotions, and Jess Allen. And he still can throw me over his shoulders. So. Yeah. Just saying. Just saying. Well, I can still throw Simon over my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching. We've got lots more discussion and debates on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. Don't forget to click like and subscribe.